When you look at the research about what happens to students who come from a disadvantaged background and they make it to tertiary, very often the reasons that they drop out are not because they weren't prepared, not because they're not smart enough, not because they're not working hard, but often psychosocial obstacles, whether that's challenges within the family or with adjusting to the social life at university or often sort of just the self-confidence and the help-seeking skills that you need. The students that we deal with come from quite challenging circumstances um, and so we often have very extreme cases um, of students who's, who are trying to rewrite matric but they also experience a lot of different challenges. So over the years we've had students who experience pregnancy and um, shack fires, houses burning down, various different experiences that cause students to lose track of where they're aiming to go. We really want to change that mindset um, you know, of, the, of the student always seeing themselves as helpless. The idea is to make, to make the students see that they, could, they can also you know, do a lot to help uplift their communities, families, friends and you know, just the people around them. There's a student we have. Both her parents are unemployed. Um, she has two younger brothers and she's a full-time student at university. She went to do her first year in biomedical chemistry. She wrote to us and you know, told us of all the challenges she had faced. She came from you know, um, you know, a settlement in, 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 in Kailicha. Um, they have no electricity and no flushable toilets and she had no idea how to use a washing machine because she'd never done it before. She ended up breaking one of those and we laugh about it now but for her, you know, what other people would have looked at and laughed at, it was a real struggle for her. Even though she was doing excellently in her, you know, in her academy, she was getting A's and B's, you know, she could have just left because the cultural shock she got when she got there could have been too much. Your circumstances don't define you or what you can do. And that's something that's very important and you know I think the youth needs to learn that there are other things that they can do to you know, to better themselves. We do social work groups, um, splitting the group into two and then we also provide individual counseling to students as needed, whether on a once-off or an ongoing basis. There's a social work um, groups which we have each and every week, whereby we discuss everything that is bothering us. They will give you some advices when you're facing challenges, maybe some, you, it's not easy to cope with certain subjects, you can come back to the social work and try to find ways of helping you to sort out your problem. They can have social, regular social work groups that sort of build up um, a sense of community and identity around um, sharing openness, honesty, being able to talk about issues, uh, solve them in, in productive ways. So I think a big part of that is, you know, just dealing with the different psychosocial issues that might come up, um, whether current or past, and giving them the confidence to go forward into that new world, knowing that they have what it takes to make.